Welcome everyone, my name is Chris Record, and welcome to the 90 Day Challenge Day 2. If you are watching live right now, you should be able to see my screen. You are seeing a Google document with 90 Day Challenge notes. This is Day 2. As you can see, just for those of you that are live, before I keep going, since these are live trainings every single day, could you please say things are all good if you can hear the audio and if you can hear the visual. Now, I do have some of my staff on standby right now to be able to make sure things are going well and uh, make sure audio's working well. He's gonna make sure audio's working well, so he'll be monitoring the comments and we are good to go. Okay, with that being said, I wanna jump right into the training because time is money, uh, not only your time, but also my time. So assuming everything is good, um, let's dive into it. Today, what I wanna cover is print on demand for beginners, uh, you know, and then I also wanna do how to, I wanna talk about how to integrate with Shopify. So as long as I get a thumbs up that audio is good from people, uh, I don't wanna go too far. I'm just gonna assume that it's all good. Okay, print on demand for Shopify, how to integrate. Okay, so with that being said, uh, let's go ahead and start with some basics, okay? Let's start with, let me put up a bullet point list here. Let's start with, first of all, what is print on demand, okay? What on earth is print on demand? So let's start off, let's go to the internet. Let's go to Wikipedia. And let's see what Wikipedia has, and then I'm gonna talk a lot, a little bit more about how we utilize it, but print on demand, uh, machines like this, okay, is a technology and business process where companies do not print until they receive an order, okay? This is the main thing you need to know, okay? It allows prints of singular or small quantities, okay? So print on demand is essentially where they do not print until they receive an order. So what is print on demand? Let's talk about that. Print on demand, otherwise known as POD, is where a company has the ability to print something, but they don't until they receive an order, okay? For example, you might upload an amazing design to a print on demand company to be printed on cell phone cases, um, hats, t-shirts, mugs, etc. They won't actually print and deliver the item until an order comes in. This creates zero inventory of that printed item, thus reducing the risk of inventory and high overhead because what if that product doesn't sell you would be stuck with thousands of mugs for example with your design on them that you would have to pay for with print on demand okay with print on demand you can test many different designs on many different items and only pay, so this is the key, you only pay for it to be printed and shipped after you receive money, okay? That is print on demand. So what is print on demand? We're also gonna call this AKA POD. So if I refer to it as POD, then you know um, exactly what I'm referring to, print on demand. So in the comments, for those of you who are live right now, um, when it comes to print on demand, can you let me know if you are a beginner, intermediate, or advanced? If, this is your, if you've never sold print on demand or if maybe you're just hearing about it for the first time, can you comment with, you know, beginner? Let's go over here to the 90 Day Challenge group. Let's go to the discussions tab and I'll show you. There's a live stream happening right now. See, um, well, that was live. That was yesterday. It's here. Live now, four minutes ago. Find the day two training. Go to the day two training right now. And you can see beginner over here, never done it before. Somebody's intermediate. So comment below. There's a beginner, beginner, intermediate, beginner. So comment below right now and let me know whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, okay? Let's keep going. So this is print on demand. Can, if you guys can understand this, if you understand this, can you go ahead and say, I understand? If you do not understand what print on demand is, ask other people in the comments and they will help make sense of this. But basically, all that's happening here is you're gonna come up with an idea 
for something that should be printed on a cell phone case or a mug or a hat or a t-shirt and you're gonna submit it to a print-on-demand company and you only have to pay after you receive money. So, that's what print-on-demand is. Let's go ahead and let's look at some example companies. Okay, what is print-on-demand? What are some print-on-demand companies? Okay, actually, I'm gonna start doing POD. It'll just be faster for us all. Okay, what are some, what are some POD companies? Okay, I'm gonna give you some companies right now that, you can, that we're gonna use as examples. Okay, um, an example would be Gearbubble. And we're gonna put down the websites too, gearbubble.com. Another one would be viral style, and this would be viralstyle.com. Another one would be Teespring. This would be Teespring. Okay, we're gonna go through and we're gonna look at a lot. Okay, so let's go look at a lot of companies right now. But first, I'm gonna show you these ones, then we're gonna look at a lot of them. Okay, I'm actually gonna show you one more, Printful, and I don't remember the, the domain, I think it's printful.co. Um, so let's look at these one at a time. Here is an example of a print-on-demand company. This company is free to use, okay? And they, they make their money because you're selling their, you're selling their mugs and their, their jewelry and stuff like that, right? So they make money, don't get me wrong. They're free to use, but they make money. Okay, here, uh, first things first, you start selling your own products today at Gearbubble, Anyone can easily create and sell merchandise with zero upfront costs, whether it's a shirt or necklace, we make it easy for you to sell online. So look at zero upfront costs. That's why we like this for beginners, okay? Zero upfront costs, create and sell merchandise. I mean, think about that. That's what makes this so great as a beginner strategy, okay? So you can go and create accounts now. And look, somebody sold over 10,000 of these. Over 10,000 of this was sold. So let's look at these categories here. All of these, they, they, people are selling print-on-demand products have to do with animals, professions, faith, family, holidays, veterans, yoga, and other. Here's some top sellers, some new releases. So let's just go to the top sellers category so we can take a look at what is selling well. Look at this, 13,000 sold of this, 11,000 sold of this, 11,000 sold. I mean, look at that. That's really high, right? So let's, look, let's take a look at an example here of a print-on-demand product that could be you. Okay. It is a black mug, and look what this text says. Roll your mouse over the mug to watch it change colors. Okay, so it starts as a black mug. When you fill it up with liquid, the, 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 the cold to hot changes the color. So watch this, okay? Look at that. You roll your mouse up, and look what happens when it gets hot. It changes colors into a white mug, and it says, To my wife, I loved you then, I love you still, always have, always will. So this is an example of a husband, you would target married men that, um, and you might even target extra keywords that, you know, like to, um, you know, drink coffee or something like that. Or you could even hyper target people who have an anniversary, married men who have an anniversary coming up, you know, stuff like that. Because they're, they're thinking about it, right? And so this person is selling this mug for $19.95. That's, this is a retail page, 1995. This is their title, I love you. Um, this is a little keyword just released, limited time only. This item is not available in stores. They do this because you, when they come to this page, you don't want them to think that they can just go get it in a store. Guaranteed safe checkout. So like all this stuff is just, just released is for exciting and hype. Limited time means that there's, um, there's urgency, scarcity. Item is not available in stores. So there's urgency, there's scarcity, there's excitement, there's security, guaranteed safe checkout, security. There's a call to action, buy it now. Um, right here is a feel good. It's printed and shipped from the USA. Okay, and then they can click buy it now. And it's got a countdown timer, which, which really um, adds to the urgency. And it shows that a, this is social proof. A lot of other people are purchasing this item. So they would click buy it now. It adds it right here, a color changing mug. They can check out with a credit card or PayPal. They check out with a card and then you go here and you can purchase this product, okay? It's gonna have $5 shipping and handling, so it's $25, okay? So there you go, $25 just like that. So that's an example of a mug. Now, how does it work? When you go to Gearbubble, you can create an account. You're gonna go to Get Started Now and you can go and you can fill out an account or whatever, create your account. And you can go and, and, and create an account. Then you'll create an account and you can go log in. Um, and you can go log in. I have some demo account I just set up. And look, they work with Shopify. They have a dropship program that works with Shopify, all kinds of stuff. So 
once you have a dashboard, you can go and you can launch campaigns. Okay, you log in, you're gonna create an account, you can go launch a campaign, and there's different types of campaigns. You could create a whole store in here. Let's just launch a campaign, a traditional campaign. These, so here's all it is in three steps. One, you select your product, which product you wanna, you, wanna, you wanna sell. Two, you create a design and you upload it on the product. And then three, you add a description, like a title and a description. So let's, let's say we wanna do a coffee mug, okay? They have all of these different products. Look at this, you could do a coffee mug, you could do a necklace, um, a bracelet. And notice the necklace and the bracelet have like a little circle on them. That means that you can design what's on the little circle. A shirt or a hoodie, a phone case, a hat, a beanie a pillowcase, some leggings, um, print all over the shirt or a poster. You can even do your own posters. So let's say you choose a coffee mug, you're gonna click next step, and, and then you've gotta like come up with a design, okay? So you've gotta figure out like a design of, for what you wanna do, and there's just these different types of mugs. Here's a color changing mug, um, you know, and your, your base cost is $19.95 and you're gonna make $10 profit per sale. So what, how this works is if you wanted to sell that, let's, let's go up and let's look at that um, mug again, okay? Um, let's see if I can find it again. It's gonna log me in. Let's go to uh, campaigns new. Hold on, let me, let me open up an um, incognito window that I'm not logged in. Um, dun, 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 all right. And let's go to categories, best sellers, top sellers. All right, you guys might not be able to see my screen right now. I just realized because I'm in an incognito window. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to open it up here. Okay. Here's this um, wife. You guys will be able, this should work now. I realized that when I went incognito, maybe you guys couldn't see that. So here's this mug, this I love you mug. Okay, now you should be able to see it. There's an I love you mug, and it's got that color changing thing. I loved you then, I love you still, always have, always will. Okay, so what they did was they're selling this for $19.95, and if you look at yours, if you did that same mug, then you're earning $10 profit, okay? So you see, you have a base cost. Like, what if you wanna sell this mug for $12.95, okay? You're only making $3 profit. Let's say you wanna sell this, this for $10.95 you're only making $1 profit. Let's say you want to sell this mug for $9.95. You're making no profit. So your base cost of this product is $9.95, which means that Gearbubble, the first $9.95 is going to go to Gearbubble because they're the ones that are providing the mug. They're the ones that are um, putting the image on it, all that kind of stuff. So the first $9.95 goes to Gearbubble. Anything above $9.95 that you sell it for is your profit. So they suggest $19.95 for mugs. You make $10 profit. So let's look at this. This is $19.95, and they've sold 13,759 of them, okay? So if you guys do the math, right, um, 13,759 times $10, which is the profit on each one, is $137,000 in profit. So this one item for this one seller is roughly $137,000 in profit to come up with this one mug. So I don't know how many opportunities you guys know in the world where you have the ability to generate $137,000 in profit. Now, that's profit. Let's look at 1995 times 13,000. So if you do the math on that, take the same math, 13,759 times 19.95, that is 274,000. So let's ramp that up. $275,000. Okay? $275,000. But remember when we clicked buy it now and we went to go check out with the card? Um, it actually adds 495 to it. So really the total if this was your product in your store, you're actually collecting $24.90. $24.90. So let's do that again. Watch how much money your store would have actually generated off this one mug. 24.90 times 13,759. 13,759 equals 342,000. Okay? 342,599. Ready? 342,599. 342,000. So let's write this down. Okay? Let's go. Let's go. Um, 
I'm going to do this all, all on the sheet for you, okay? Example mug, um, and this is going to be uh, I love my wife mug, 19, uh, so we're going to do cost, 19.99, shipping, I think was 4.95, we could look at it again, 4.95, um, base cost was 9.95 or 9.99, I can't remember, what was it, 9, Yeah, $9.95 was the base cost. Okay. So example mug, I love my wife. Let's add, let's even put a let's even put a link into this. So $342,599 um, total units sold. Total income generated was $342,599. The total income sold right here was $13,759. Um, 13,759 uh, units. Now, of course, this person's it, it, it probably advanced, right? Total units sold, 13,759. Total income generated. Uh, total profits before ads, okay, before Facebook ads on something like this. Because remember, there, there's always a cost. You don't just sell 13. These 13,000 didn't just sell randomly. So their profit is um, $10.00. Remember, if we're going off this estimate here, if they're selling it for $19.95, their profit is $10 per sale. So we're just going to use that as our estimate. $10 per sale is basically, um, it's going to be total profit is going to be $137,590. And then um, we don't know their cost per ads. Everybody's ads are different. But let's say, let's say cost per FB ad to acquire customer. We're gonna to have to make a guess here. Since we don't know who this person is, we don't know who they are, let's guess that their cost per ad to acquire the customer, it's, they're making $10 profit, so you know they have to be profitable. They didn't sell this many unless they were profitable. So you know that they're, 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 they're making $10, so to sell an item for 20 bucks, let's just assume $5 per customer. Let's make it uh, $5, and let's just say that's an assumption. Cost per Facebook ad to acquire a customer is $5. So that means total profit per sale after FB ads equals, um, and let's say that that is now, um, you know, their total profit was $10, and now their total, so let's do it real quick. Total profit before FB ads per sale equals $10. Okay, I'm going to organize this a little bit better for you so you guys understand in the notes. Okay, so... Their total total profits that they make per sale is ten dollars. So their total profits was thirteen thousand seven hundred fifty nine orders times ten dollars. That's a total profit of one hundred thirty seven thousand dollars. That's awesome. But their cost per Facebook ad would be five dollars. That's an assumption. Cost per F Facebook ads on the the total campaign equals five dollars times one hundred thirty seven thousand. So let's let's do that math real quick. You guys have got to learn to love numbers, by the way. 137, um, 13759 times $5 equals 68,795. 68,000 in ad spend. Total profits per sale after Facebook ads. So you look at this. What is your total profits after? So if, if you. You generated $342,000 from this product, but Gearbubble takes their cut. You, you got a cost per mug, you got a cost for shipping, stuff like that. So really you made $137,000, but then Facebook is going to take their cut. Let's say $5 per item sold. So Facebook's going to take $68,000 of that. So you're left, your actual pure profit in your pocket is $137,590 minus 68795 so let's do that math really quick. Um, 137,590 minus 68,795 equals 68. Well, it's the same because <laughs> that was $10 profit. So sorry for that. I have to do the math. So that actually means 68,795 is your pure profit. Okay? And that's the most important thing. Look at that right there. Bam. So on this campaign, this person 
on our best estimate, this I love my wife campaign, my, our best estimate, we have to guess their ad spend, but our best estimate is that they made $68,795 on that one product in pure profit. But their store gets to, gets to boast $342,000. So if you ever, so first of all, if you guys are a beginner, if you ever hear somebody saying, oh, my store did a million dollars or 500,000, that doesn't mean that's all profit. We, we get down to the nitty gritty. We find out what the actual profit is. So $68,000 is your profit right back in your pocket. That's after Facebook gets their cut, Gearbubble gets their cut, everybody gets their cut, $68,795. Now you might have, you might have some more expenses we, we, and we can only make assumptions. Maybe for all we know, this guy's campaign went viral and his cost, maybe his cost is $3 or maybe his cost is $7, right? Or, um, and maybe a girl, sorry for saying it was a guy. I just was looking at the I love my wife thing, so I just assumed a guy. But whoever the seller is, male or female, they, they potentially generated $68,000. So this is a business model. Regardless if you're brand new, if you were to hang with us for 90 days, if it took you 90 days to figure this out, how many people here would love to crack the code and learn how to design a mug and scale it to the point where you sold you know, 13,000 units of a single mug, right? How many people right now think this is flat out exciting? Let me know in the comments how many people are, are flat out, they just, they're impressed with the ability to be able to do this. And, and what was your cost? You didn't, you never even touched a mug. You never even handled one. You never even dealt with one, right? So because you're not even touching any products, all you had to do was this. You just had to upload this design and then come up with a title and a description, okay? And that's it, and then drive traffic to this page or drive traffic to your Shopify store. That's all you have to do. That's your role. So this is the power of print on a man, you guys, is that you have the ability to be able to do stuff like this. So Gearbubble allows you to do this right here. And then all you need to do is you need to um, come up with design. So let's, let's do that really quick, okay? Um, let me come up. I think I have a folder somewhere that's got some designs in it that we can use. Graphic designs. Let's go in with some t-shirt designs. Um, okay, here's some old graphic designs. Back, back in 2014, this is a whole folder I have, so I don't mind sharing these ones. But let's go here to country girls. Let's say, um, let's do country girls. Let's do this one. Let's see what this one is. Okay. Okay, country girls, play like a boy. Um, let me see if I can get this a little bit bigger for you guys. Country girls, play like a boy, love like an angel, and know their way around a shotgun. So here's an example of a um, here's an example of a design. You can go and you can basically find like designers for like five dollars that'll do designs like this for five or ten bucks. Just basic text. Country girls play like a boy, love like an angel, and know the way around a shotgun. So this would be tailored. This would sell to um, a woman who is interested in country music or country-related brands or things like that who also has an interest in shotguns or guns or um, Second Amendment or something like that. So essentially like a Midwest girl, if you will, right? So... You go, you do something like this. Let's go ahead and let's uh, let's download this graphic. Let's go ahead and download this to um, my desktop, Country Girls. Let's save it. So now let's go back over here to Gearbubble, and you can upload a design. Okay, upload a graphic. I don't know if it's the right format, by the way. We're gonna see. Um, I did not format this, so it might not let this one go. We'll see. It might not be the right size for a mug. If it's not the right size, we'll go to a T-shirt instead. Um, Okay, so it looks like it is kind of the right size here, but it looks like this would only really work on a, um, this is not good for a white background, so I don't think I'm gonna use it. Let's, let's go back. Let's go, um, let's not put this on a color changing mug. Let's put this on a t-shirt or a hoodie. Let's go design a t-shirt or a hoodie, just because I have this graphic. And look at all these different t-shirts you could do. Women's tees, youth hoodies, long sleeves, sweatshirts, so let's do like a sweatshirt. Let's do a black sweatshirt like that. And then let's upload the design, Country Girls. And it's gonna upload it. And this is how easy it is. You just upload a transparent design. There it is. 
country girls, okay? And you can literally like, um, you can go make it bigger if you want to. You can do a lot with it, okay? You can go and you can, you can reverse it. You can just do all kinds of stuff. So basically, I'm just kind of showing you the exact, um, there's all kinds of like little options that you can do. You can snap it to the center to make sure this thing stays in the center. Um, you can rotate it a little bit. There's all kinds of stuff that you can do, okay? So you can put it up higher. You know, you can make it bigger. Okay, cool stuff you could do. So you basically upload a, a design, put it on a sweatshirt, choose what colors, and you can add another color. So maybe I want to have one that's black, and you can kind of scroll over and see what, it doesn't look good on white, doesn't really look good on red, looks a little bit good on blue, purple. So maybe like that color looks good. Add another color blue. So you could have like a black one, a purple one, a blue one. Now your base cost is $15.90 per sale. Um, oh, sorry, your profit is $15.90 per sale. So if I sell this for $29.95, I'm gonna make $15 per sale. But if I sell it for $24.95, I'm gonna make $10. If I sell this for $19.95, I'm gonna make $5.90. So the logic here is, when I'm first starting, I'm gonna sell this for like $19.95, and then after I sell a few, I'm gonna bump it up to like $24.95, and then see if I can sell more, and then after a while, I'm gonna bump it up to $29. I'm gonna just keep raising the price to see what I can get away with, but I'm gonna start small to see if I can actually, um, if I can actually do that. Now, personalized design layer, this allows you to be able to do stuff like that. Don't worry about any of that. Right now, you're just basically doing this, and you're just uploading an image. You can, I can move it around and make it bigger if I wanted. And then it gives you like a default um, text, just released, limited time only, uh, not available in stores, guaranteed safe checkout. See how it gives you this default stuff so you don't even have to add it if you want. Campaign title, um, I'll say um, country girls, um, country girls uh, exclusive or something like that. That's the name of the shirt, country girls exclusive. You can do an optional category if you want, but you don't even really need to. Uh, optional tags, you don't need to. Now this, this is how long it's gonna run, because this is gonna put a countdown timer. So you can basically say, this is, this is only available for one day, or this is only available for two days, three days, six days. So this will put a six day countdown timer. It's only available for six days, and then it's off the market. Choose a URL. We'll do like country, um, country girl, sorry, country, I'm spelling wrong, country girl, shotgun okay country girl shotgun something like that right and that's how you come up with a url and then you're you set the selling price we've got it set at 24.95 it's a sweatshirt though so i might be able to sell it like 29.95 and then this is like a profit preview so this kind of shows you like your different profit margin your estimated profit is if you sell five of this this hoodie your estimated profit is $79.50. If you sell 250 of the hoodie, your estimated profit is 4,600 on this. If you can sell 1,000, your estimated profit is 19,530, right? So it gives you like a profit preview that you can kind of figure it out. Now, you see how this has four colors? If we would have just uploaded a one color design, we would make more profit. And if you uploaded like more than six colors, it makes a lot of profit. So if you have a very colorful design, you make less profit because the print on demand company has to show a lot of different colors. Uh, it takes them more, more harder to print multiple colors. So the less colors you have, the more profit you're going to make. This is four colors. There's my estimated profit, just like that. Um, so you're going to make, you know, it kind of like you can kind of see like estimates. Pretty cool. Okay, so that's your profit preview. Your button text could be buy it now all this kind of stuff, terms of service, and you can launch the campaign, right? So it's processing, launching, and just like that, pretty simple, right? I've got um, the ability to be able to sell this now. Country Girls exclusive. So now in my account, if I want to, here's a URL, I can start advertising this right now. This is print on demand, I can start advertising it right now. We haven't even hooked it up to Shopify. If I just wanna test this, I get to start selling it right now. Okay, so you see how, see how simple this was? I'm just showing you. Now look, available till April 8th. It's got a six day or five, five day and six hour countdown. It's got a countdown timer. It's got colors that the person can look at and can choose. It's got a sizing chart automatically built in. This is all built in for you. And this is very, very simple. Right now, somebody can buy it. And when somebody buys it, I earn like $15. So right now, without anything, low risk, all I did was I uploaded a, a design and I have a sales page and I can literally make like $15 right now if somebody buys this. 
So what I'll do is I'll take this 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 post or whatever and I would go over to you know Facebook and I would go like you know we'll teach this in another one of the 90 days but I just want to show you how simple it is let's just call this one like I'll create a fan page don't worry I'm gonna go fast here uh, country girls um, let's do let's just I'm gonna make up a page country girls anthem get started oh, whoops I didn't choose a category let's just call it like a website country girls anthem that doesn't even really matter what you, what you call that. It's not like this even matters. There's my country girls anthem. Here's my new page. Let's add a picture. Let's go over here and let's add country girls wallpaper. Let's see if there's a let's see if there's an image I can really quickly use, like some sort of country girl uh, image, something that like looks really cool or whatever. Um, I don't know something like this for right now. With some wallpaper. Here's a nice like little country girl wallpaper, whatever. I'll take like a little screen capture of, of, of a little bit of it. Let's just do like that. This might not even work really quick, but who cares? Um, country girl profile picture. So I, I wouldn't actually use this one probably, but I'm just gonna go fast. So what I would do is I go to Facebook and I would just go in here and I would just go make a, add a picture, a country girl picture. And now I got a, I've got a page called I've got a page called the Country Girl um, Country Girl Anthem. Country Girl's Anthem. I don't even know why I chose Anthem. I think I saw it in the background. It was just was in my mind. So Country Girl's Anthem. I just made up a page. It was free to create. And there's my little Country Girl profile picture. And I got my new page. That's it. All you need is a page. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to make a post. My post is going to be this Country Girl shirt. Okay. So like what I'll do is I'll just go like this. Here's, here's my post, there's my link or whatever, and it didn't show up, so I'm gonna refresh the page, reload. I'm gonna show you, it's gonna show, it's gonna pull up. There's a little trick too, if, some, if, it, if you post your link and it doesn't pull up, you need to refresh. So there it goes, now it's pulling up a picture, there's a picture of my shirt. Country Girls exclusive, it's got a shirt, it's got everything. Just by posting the link, I got a post. But I'm gonna do something better than that. I'm gonna say, you know what, that's kinda, that's kinda silly. What if I do this instead? What if I just grab this shirt right here, take a screenshot of it, just like this. What if I just took a screenshot? Just like that, a picture. Um, let's go uh, country girls. I'm showing you guys literally how as beginners, how simple this is. Country girls advertisement. I created a shirt, I uploaded a logo, created a shirt, set up a page. Let's go back here. I just took a screenshot of that. Let's refresh this. I just took a screenshot of the shirt. That's how simple it was. And after taking a screenshot of the shirt, watch this, photo, video, upload. And just like that, I uploaded a picture. Now watch how simple this is. Um, check out, uh, say, are you a, uh, tag a friend that is a country girl um, who can relate to this shirt, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do is I'll say tag a friend who can who's a country girl that can relate to this shirt, um, and then I'll say something like get it here, and then we'll put like the little link to it, you know, get it here. Um, we'll copy this link right here. Boom, and then I'll do I'll maybe do that again. Get it here, I'll get it, and I'll say get it here twice. Get it here, get it here. So look, tag a friend that is a country girl who can relate to this shirt. Get it here, get it her, get it here, or um. Get it in, I might do this, like get it in blue, get it in, get it in black. But I'll just say get it here, get it here. Okay. Um, and now this right here is a post. Watch this. Publish. Again, this is all free. Everything I've done right now is free. Watch what I've done. I've created a shirt for free. I mean, you have to have a graphic, but that's like five bucks or ten bucks, something like that. But I've created a, I've created a whole entire page. I've gone on Facebook and I've created a post, which is just the picture of it, $29.95. And I said, tag a friend, get it here, get it here. So now I have a post. Now I would probably put it on my, um, what I would do is I'd probably build a Shopify site that was all about country related stuff. And then this would be just one product on my Shopify store. That's probably what I would do. But I'm just, just for the example of what is print on demand and how does it work, this is how it works. I've got this post now and now I can advertise it. Country Girls Anthem, now I can advertise this post. So now what I'll do is I'll go in here 
to create an ad, and I'll go over here and I'll do any one of these ads. I can do a conversion ad, whatever. We'll do this on another another time, uh, like maybe when we, in maybe like day five or ten, we'll do we'll go, go all about Facebook ads. But this is how simple it's going to be for you. Literally, I'm going to say country girls shotgun shirt. Literally, you're going to be able to go into Facebook, and you're going to be able to choose. Watch how, watch how cool this is going to be. Women in the United States, women, you're going to be able to go in and say, who should this post show to? Women, and don't worry, I'll train on this in depth. In this 90 day challenge, you're going to learn all this. Women in the United States who have an interest in, let's say, country music, okay? That is 29 million women. 29 million women in the United States have an interest in country music. So let's narrow this down. Must also have an interest in what happens if I do shotgun? Look at 830,000 people. Look at how cool this is. Right now, Facebook is going to allow me to show this post to women in the United States. Let's even make it 21 and over. Women in the United States who are 21 and over who like country music and shotguns. 730,000 people. Just like that. Look at how cool that is. And then you can go over here and you can say, where do you want this ad to show? And look at all these places it can show. You can show it on Instagram, or if you don't want to show it, you just uncheck that. You can show it on Facebook in the news feeds, in these articles, and these streams. What if I just want this thing to show up on Facebook in the news feed? When people are scrolling through the Facebook news feed, boom, there it is. I just check that box, and it's going to show up on the news feed. Now, how much am I going to spend? Watch this, $5 a day. Okay, five dollars a day. Continue. Okay, five dollars a day, and then I got to choose a page, and let's just choose this uh, country girls anthem page, and there's my post, and just like that, that's it. And then if you have a, if, if we'll get into this later, pixel tracking that makes Facebook smarter. We'll get into all that stuff later. But look at how simple this was. This post I just made for five dollars a day, Facebook will show this to women who like country music and shotguns, just like that. And you can just place the order, okay? How simple was this, you guys? Just in a matter of seconds, now, in a matter of what, 20 minutes? What did we do? We found a print-on-demand site, we uploaded a graphic, put it on a sweatshirt, uh, took a picture of it, went over here, made a post, showed people where they can buy it, and then went into Facebook, and we just advertised that post right now for $5 a day to win to the exact target audience, okay? Look, look at what we just did right here. Just watch what we just did. Um, example for this training video, okay? Example for this training video. Look, look at these steps that we did, okay? Watch this. We created a graphic, and this was the uh, uh, girls, country girls, plus shotgun um, graphic, okay? We created a graphic. We uploaded that graphic to Gearbubble, we chose to put it on a hoodie. We priced the hoodie at, how much did we price it at, you guys? How much was that? $29.95. We priced the hoodie at $29.95, uh, plus I think it's got $4.95 shipping, there'll be some shipping, plus shipping. So we priced it at $29.95. We took a screenshot of the finished hoodie with graphic on it. We uploaded that as an image to a, or no, we created a Facebook page. We created a Facebook page in the country girls niche. We uploaded that image to the fan page with links to buy it. We ran a $5 a day ad to women 21 plus USA who like country music and shotguns. Then we sit back and see if any sales come in over the next three days, okay? That's it. Remember, our profit is $15, okay? If our profit, actually, I think our profit is more. Let's go back and let's look at what our, let's look at what our profit is on this, right? Let's see if we can go back a couple pages. And we'll actually see what our prop, what our potential profit was. 
So our potential at 29 to five, our profit is $10 per sale, okay? So if our profit is $10.90 per sale, let's say the next two days, okay? Um, let's say two to four days. So um, our profit is $10 per sale, roughly. So we can spend up to $10 to acquire a customer and break even. Our goal is to acquire customers for $5 or less. We keep experimenting until we find an advertising audience that works. If we can't find one, then we create a new product and new audience and try again. You guys, this is the name of the game. That's how simple it is right there in a number of steps, okay? Um, let's go down here and put this all on one screen so you can see it. Look at, look at this right here, okay? And then we'll do step number 15. When we find a winner, we scale it up by spending more, by creating more ads. Creating more ads to run per day, okay? That's what we do. So there's 15 steps right there. Look what we did. We created a graphic. We uploaded it to Gearbubble. We put it on a product. We priced the product. We took a screenshot of it and uploaded that to Facebook, to a fan page we created. We ran a $5 a day ad trying to see if it would sell. And we're going to check the results in a couple days. Our profit is you know, roughly $10, so we know how much we could spend to break even. But of course, our goal is to profit, to make profit. Um, and we're just going to keep experimenting. If we can't find one, we try a new design, we try over. Okay? Once we find a winner, we scale up. Now, that's not, that's just, that's just with this product here, okay? So, literally, like, that's just, we can go over here and we can sell this thing on Shopify too. You know, we can increase ROI on our Shopify store with one-click integration. So, we can actually put these products on our Shopify store. There's a video right here um, that you can learn about. Let me, let me go ahead and put this video in the, let me put the video in the, uh, the notes. Um, uh, here is a video showing how to integrate Gearbubble with Shopify, okay? So, that just like that, and don't worry, you'll get access to these notes. So just like that, we just showed this one. Gearbubble, we looked at an example, and then we went and created one. You guys, this is like, for some of you, this might seem basic. For some of you, this might seem advanced. But either way, this is a real industry. People are making money left and right doing this, okay? This is real money, okay? Whether, you might not do $68,000, okay? But you might do $1,000 a week and that would still be amazing. That's $4,000 a month in pure profit. Some of you could do this as a full-time career if you can figure this out. So it's at least worth doing. And then what you wanna do is you wanna integrate to your Shopify store. That way all of the sales count towards your Shopify challenge. So there's a way to do that. Now, we just looked at Gearbubble. Let's go look at some other ones, okay? We just looked at Gearbubble. Let's go over here to Viral Style. Here's another print-on-demand company called Viral Style. And they're all, you know, they're, they're all just different. And like another cool idea is that you can get a lot of ideas for stuff by just going and looking at all these things and seeing what's selling. Okay, so here's Viral Style. And you can create, you can sell, you can track. So it's basically the same kind of thing right here. You design, um, you just look at all these products they have here. Short sleeve shirts, long sleeves, hoodies, ladies, tank tops, um, V-necks, drinks, kids stuff, all over print, all over the whole shirt, phone cases, hats, jewelry, footwear, clocks, laptop sleeves. So you literally can go and you can like design on a clock. You see that? I mean, how cool is this? A round wall clock, you can go and you could design on a, on a clock if you wanted to. So you can go in here and you can like basically just go design on a clock. You have a base price of $14.95 and you can mark it up to $29.95, and that's it. You know, you can basically um, upload an image. You might wanna find something better than, this, than, the, than the country girl's image or whatever, but um, you basically go, and, and maybe I'll upload a different thing just to show you. I think I have a picture of a standard poodle from yesterday's training, so we might use that one. We'll see what happens when this one loads in. Um, but that's it, you just basically load it in. I don't think it'll go, go good though, because it's white on white. So um, yeah, see it doesn't really look as good. Um, but, you know, it won't really look that great. Um, yeah, let's, let's go, let's clear it and let's see if we can upload that poodle and we'll see if that works. So anyways, you would have an image or whatever for whatever your base audience was 
Oh, that image has to be higher. Okay, uh, maybe we could find one. Let me go back. These are all t-shirt designs. Maybe we can find one. Let's see if there's one here. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't, who knows? I don't know if this can work. All my images, I think, in this folder are designed for white back, uh, for black backgrounds. So I don't know if I'm going to have anything here. Okay, I don't want to look too much, but you guys get, you guys get the point. Maybe we'll just do something like, let's say, um, high resolution poodle. Let's just do a high resolution poodle image really quick. Just see if we can get something that would look good um, on a circle. I'm just going to grab this one as an example and see. I'm going to grab one of these as an example. Save image. Poodle. Let's just see if that one works. So anyways, you guys get the idea though. You're just going to basically find an image. We're going to try this poodle and see if it works really quick. If not, don't worry. It has to be a certain size. Yeah, images must be over 2,000 pixels. Let's we'll try one more really quick. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Let's see if we can find one that's big, over 2,000. Da, da, da. Give me one second. There's a settings, um, size, larger than 2,000. So let's try one of these real quick. Um, so if somebody had like a dog or whatever and you got a cute picture of the dog, it could work, you know? So like, we'll see if we can get one of these images to work. This one's like a really high, high image. I don't know if it's gonna work. Let's go back. And that's kind of fun. Now you, you would design one though. You would go to a designer and have them do one. You would say this, the image needs to be over 2,000 um, pixels to be able to be used. Let's try this one real quick. Just, we're gonna try it. If it doesn't work, then I'm gonna move on really quick because I don't wanna do this. I've never used a clock before, by the way. This will be the first time. So if it doesn't work, then we're just, if this says no, then we're just done. So anyways, the idea is you find an image that could go on a clock. You have a base cost of $14.95. That's based on 50 sales. So you have to make at least 50 sales. Okay, here we go. Let's make this. Okay, let's make it a little bigger. That's not a transparent image. So let's, let's get it like that. Make it like that if we can. I'm gonna design it a little bit better. Get it nice and neat in there, like that. Okay, there we go. So we just designed a clock, just like that. Look at that. I've got a clock. I've got a wall clock. Now, if you were able to target that breed of dog, dog owners and that breed of dog, that's all you would have to do. Okay, and you can go over here and you can even pre you can click the preview, you can go to next, and you can start designing this thing, okay? So that's all. You can basically design clocks. You can design all kinds of stuff. There's your, there's your preview. Your campaign title goes there. You can choose what colors you want it. You can choose all stuff, and it's going to look like that. Okay? Very, very cool. So that's all you do. You go next, and then you start choosing. Um, you know, you have a profit estimator. It'll show you how much profit you're looking to get. It gives you a selling price. It recommends $24.95 as a selling price, but you can sell it for $29.95. And, you know, you're, you're generating $15 per... Per your minimum profit per item is fifteen dollars, but the more items you sell, the higher profit. So your minimum profit is fifteen dollars. Okay, but you can generate even more. So let's say you're able to sell five hundred of these clocks. Your estimated profit seven thousand five hundred dollars. Your minimum overall profit. Now you can go and you can put this design on more products. So there you go. Just putting a dog, a simple thing, a white a white clock with a dog on it. You target the breed of the dog. Now you're going to want to use a picture though that you have better. And also that's the thing is that you can get like a you